Number 60. If 4.12 liters of a 0.85 molar H3PO4 solution is being diluted to a volume of 10.00 liters, what is the concentration of this resulting solution? Okay, so more molarity and more dilutions. There is a specific formula dilu for dilutions, right? If you see this type of idea, especially if they say diluted, and they give you either two molarities or two volumes with the molarity, and they're looking for the other molarity, right? Just know that concentration is a secret word for molarity. So they are looking for molarity here. The dilution formula is this formula right here. It's M1V1 equals M2V2. The hardest part is just matching up the pairs. There has to be a molarity and a corresponding volume, and that always equals the other molarity with the other corresponding volume. Now let's see if we could just pick out the, the pairs. Well, it's pretty easy to spot out, especially if they give you this type of setup. They will say a volume of a molarity. If you see this setup, that's a pair. So these guys will go together. So I know that this is the leader to this corresponding molarity. So I'm gonna put that on this side. It actually doesn't really matter what pair you put on what side, just as long as you have the right numbers together. So let's put them on the left side. This molarity would be the 0 0.850, and I'll just say M, and the volume is 4.12 liters. Okay, now I just gotta find the other pair, right? My one other molarity and my volume. Well, we're diluting it to 10 liters, that's a volume. So I know that on this side, the volume would be 10.00 liters. And they're asking for what is that concentration? What is that molarity? That's what we're solving for. That has to be X or M it doesn't really matter. It just gotta be a, a variable, right? So now we have all my numbers. I got an X value here. I'm gonna solve. So. Let's just plug it in, 0 0.850. I'm gonna get rid of the numbers as I do my math because I know that this value is a molarity value. So I already know what the units are gonna be. So this is X times 10, okay? And then now all I gotta do is I just gotta solve for X. So I just divide by the 10.00 and I gotta do that to both sides. Woo! And there you go. Let's see what we get. X equals 0.85 times 4.12, and then divide it by 10. If we play the sig fig game here, the lowest number of sig figs is eight. Uh, sorry, eight. <laughs> sorry guys, I, I literally saw this eight number and then I said eight, eight came out of my mouth. I was actually looking at the three sig figs. So the lowest number of sig figs is three here, so my answer should have only three sig figs. So it would be 0 0.350. And maybe I'll put this in red just to show you that, you know, it was this part. So 0 0.350 unit is, well, we said it was a molarity and find the other molarity. It's right here, right? And the unit for molarity they gave us was capital M. So give it right back. The units have to match. Just know that molarity is the same as moles over liter. So either way, either one is acceptable. I'm just going to put a capital M here. And that's it. Guys, what'd you think? This one was pretty quick. Dilution formulas are pretty easy. M1V1 equals M2V2. Plug in your molarities. Plug in your volumes. Make sure that they're the same units for your molarity and volume. And that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that this helped. I hope you guys are learning and that I'm, you know, teaching in a way that, you know, is beneficial for you guys. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. It just gets the word out there that, you know, this cool service exists, if I don't say so myself. And um, yeah, thank you so much. You guys rock. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.